Hello folks and welcome to Linux for Seniors. So um, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube site. My library is growing. My previous channel I had 400 videos. And um, just to forewarn you, none of my videos are going to be under two minutes. I try to explain things um, the best I can in the simplest terms I can to make it understandable for anyone. My channel is generated toward uh, seniors, but certainly anyone is welcome to watch. And Linux really is for everyone. And Linux operating systems are a great tool. Um, I am going to be doing this one here for Puppy Linux. I'm going to actually um, take you on a tour and an overview. There's a lot of little things in here that uh, can overwhelm some folks. So try not to focus in too much on all of the wealth of software that's in here. But more importantly, there's a lot of tools that you can use and some tools you just can ignore if you like. Um, this particular um, Puppy Linux can run completely uh, from a USB stick and load into RAM. And you can actually install software temporarily also, which I have done in this video. So I have um, basically not simple screen recorder believe it or not it actually came installed already on this usb stick so i downloaded the image and i'll show you um, a quick link through my own youtube site which you can get a hold of this so i'm first going to start with system information and then we're just going to move on from there now a lot of people are intimidated by terminal please don't be because um, that tool can be wonderful down the road for learning commands so I did install this through a package manager, which there's actually a package manager for this. Uh, in other words, to install software almost graphically. But I installed uh, NeoFetch, which is basically going to give me system information. It's a cute little penguin here. And uh, this is Puppy Linux. The OS is called Fossa Pup 64-bit. That's what I'm using for an operating system. The desktop is considered JWM. It's a lightweight distribution. As a matter of fact, Puppy Linux is probably one of the lightest weight Linux um, systems out there. So with that said, uh, you can do simple stuff like calendar, for instance, if you just need a quick calendar, or you can do silly stuff like Cal, space, put in the month like February, number two, and put in somebody's year. I'll put in uh, 19, um, I don't know, I'm just making a number off the top of my head, 1969. That's the calendar for February of 1969. You got a friend born February 1969 on the 12th. They were born on a Wednesday. I have shown this on my other videos. So again, upper arrow key to repeat the command, backspace to clear it out. And uh, you can put in 7. 1776 or whatever month and year you want to put down and have fun what uh what day of the week did july 4th fall in on uh, independence day in the united states july 4th 1776 what day of the week uh, we can look that up on the internet but your uh your um terminal command can do it a lot quicker it was a thursday so you can put in anybody's birthday in there and, and have fun with this and basically tell them what day of the week they were born on and have some fun with that. So I'm going to close up terminal and um, where do I want to start? There's a lot of things in here. So everything that you see here got installed by default. The only thing I had to do was uh, slightly set up my sound card, but the recording software was already ready to go. All right, so you got your time and date thing. It's not currently accurate, by the way. So you also have um, a firewall. Your firewall comes turned off. So in case you wanted to go on the internet, um, that's the firewall off and that's the firewall on. Okay, and then you can uh, uh, open that up for um, firewall setup. Normally these are checked. Firewalls configured, all ports are closed. All right, so up to you. So anyways, I'm gonna turn mine back on and now it's active. So I got some storage. This is just the personal storage for the USB stick, no big deal. And then your wireless network, sometimes you'll have to click on that and activate that. Okay, same thing goes with your sound card stuff. Let's take a look at the menu. It's, uh, there's not a search feature in here, but you can certainly scroll. For software, there's QuickPet. What is QuickPet? 
Well, you can set up internet browsers and I just installed Firefox. I'm gonna be using that in a little bit, but you can install others. And then there's another one already installed. I believe this one here is, um, I don't have it set as default. I, I actually did not do that. So I declined that actually. This is called Pale Moon, it's a different web browser. But if you wanted to use a standard web browser, I installed Firefox uh, under, where is it, internet. So Firefox is in here. I'll open that up in a little bit and show you uh, some tips on my YouTube site also at the same time. All right, so we have all kinds of toys. We have this quick pet one more time. If I needed an extra web browser, you just uh, click that, like Opera for instance, and uh, you can go with setting up things. You can, uh, let's try Google Chrome for instance, and you can go down and download that. And um, I, Firefox actually installed through the, uh, through the uh, package manager, which I'll show in a second. There's a couple of other things to point at. You need an office suite, there you have it. Audiovisual stuff. Uh, GIMP is like Photoshop if you're curious some fun. You can also install games through their package manager, which I'll mention in a minute. Useful toys, maybe. Drivers, because it's taking a guess at my graphics card. It's a cute little picture. Stuff like that. I'm using the open source driver for this video card. So if I click in the menu under setup, puppy manager. It's pretty simple. You can either um, uh, look for things manually, search for things, or you can just punch in a category maybe. If you're looking for games, go pick something. So, um, penguins. And then it's already selected, and you just say do it. And then it'll install those. So right now I don't have anything in my, uh, my fun and games that says penguins. So let me do that in front of you. So I only have this one package to install. Do it. and you usually get a post-it note at the end. It says successful. No missing libraries, that's what you wanna see. Failed is not what you wanna see. Don't forget to set up your network before doing this. So this is the package manager. All right, so my new games are installed. Lots of penguins, just throwing some things at you. So you can see that was pretty quick. All right, so what do we have at the top here? We've got the file manager. And uh, this particular uh, file manager is Rocks Filer, okay? Uh, you've got some icons that are fairly self-explanatory when you click on them. You can also resize this box if you can grab that correctly. Right. And also um, you can click the uh, display and uh, make your icons bigger or smaller. So do that, for instance. Okay, these are the file system on the USB stick, by the way. Uh, just an FYI. Home folder and so forth and so on. And I'm not going to walk through all of these. I just wanted to quickly open that for you. Got a help thing here and uh, you got your install. If you want to install this on your hard drive, get a setup key here with lots of different things, including that sound thing I was making mention of. Possibly your internet, maybe your printer, your time and date thing, screen resolution. So I'm running with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. I have other options. Just wanted to point that out. And normally when you change that, it'll uh, kind of log out and log back in. So no big deal. Hit quit. So you can see some of the things you can do with the puppy setup. All right, there's a text editor here. There's a console here and down here. So this is uh, basically terminal. Okay. There are some commands that do not work unless you install them. Like NeoFetch, for instance, you have to install that. I actually installed NeoFetch right through the, sorry, the, the Puppy Package Manager. Okay, so moving along, we have um, a word processing program that is called Abbey Word, and it does have a spell checker. I'll put an extra T in there just on purpose. Right click, I was after test. So save as, what kind of formats? 
Well, you have Abbey Word and you have some others. These are all the different ones. If you are wanting to do something like uh, Microsoft compatible, you may want to look into installing uh, something like LibreOffice, for instance. I'm just telling you what comes installed on the stick. Or it comes installed with your uh, bootable medium, I should say. All right, so we have email chat. Um, got a, a simple calendar with a planner on it. So you can also use uh, terminal, as I pointed out. You can use the word cal. That should already be installed. And then you can also do the fancy stuff like uh, somebody's birthday, for instance. You can put any month and year. So the middle number two represents February. So if I were to do the back arrow key and go with March, that would be three. And any year, 1978. That's the calendar from 1978. So if you got a friend born in that uh, month, of 78 and they were born on the 15th they were born on a Wednesday have some fun with that folks have some fun with that all right so your video player if you're doing any video kind of stuff and uh, don't forget quick pet is uh, you know you can get your updates uh, and, and all kinds of toys there's an info bar here running that is uh, showing me my system my CPU load and all that good stuff and currently simple screen recorder is taking over because I'm recording this video. Um, some hard drives. I have uh, a USB stick sitting in here with some files in it. Just wanted to point that out. I also turned off single click and uh, you can uh, go into options and turn off single click navigation. That makes it double click in other words. I don't like single click. It automatically opens everything you click on. So that's just the reason I mentioned that. Let's walk through the menu starting at the top. You got your JWM desk manager that I told you this um, particular desktop is a JWM. If you're not f familiar with these buzzwords, um, there is like XFCE desktop, plasma desktop, cinnamon desktop. Those are just some different type of desktops. It's the user environment that you interface with your computer. Kind of like if you want to, if you are coming from the Windows world, it's kind of like comparing Windows 7 and Windows 10. Yes, they're both Windows underneath, but the interfaces are different. Icons are different. Stuff like that. All right, there's quite a Heinz variety. Don't overload yourself by looking at this, but I wanted to let you see the wealth of software that's on here. So... To give you an idea of what HTOP is, it's a process viewer. It's ran out of terminal. It's got some extra bells and whistles. We can also do that. Just about every Linux distro has top installed by default. It's a process monitor. Let's move on. So where was I? I was in system. I stopped at HTOP. Invent manager, task manager, G parted, if you're not familiar with that utility, it, that means you can partition hard drives different ways. You know, there's a ton of stuff in here. A ton. Again, the file manager is Rocks Filer. A little bit different from maybe if you've operated other Linux distributions or distros. Maybe you're used to the name Thunar, Nemo, Nautilus, Files. Uh, there's a lot of different file managers out there. All right, lots of stuff in here. What comes installed under graphic is this paint image editor. And uh, I was surprised to find Inkscape Lite. Well, Inkscape itself is uh, a vector drawing program. You can also look for GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop. I actually think that it may have been even in Quick Pet. If not, go into the setup puppy package manager all right so if you're into some other paint programs or editors if you uh, know a little bit about Linux software then you can of course go into that package manager and start looking for stuff document again Abbey word is also on the desktop you can of course look for LibreOffice. there we go right there there's an actual command for it Wow 
get LibreOffice, download it, and install it. Well, there you go. They even thought of that for you. A little shortcut there. So you have a, a PDF converter, it looks like. That's nice. Uh, the last time I looked at this distribution was a little over a year ago. So they've added some stuff to it. Now, calculator is exactly what it is. It's a calculator. And you can have scientific mode also. All right, where did I leave off? Under document. Or no, I, I was in business. I'm sorry. All right, there, there is all kinds of stuff in here. There's way too many things for me to even start. And some, it looks like some advanced stuff too. Simple Samba. Samba is file sharing. Uh, so your internet, again, uh, the Firefox does not come installed. You can install it rather quickly. I, I believe I did mine through Quick Pet instead of using that package manager. But then you have some other stuff in here. Multimedia. I in, uh, I did not have to install. Sorry, I'm trying to get this over here. I did not have to install that, but that is what I'm using to actually present this video for you. You normally have to install that with a lot of different Linux distributions. This one already came installed on this USB stick. I was amazed. Okay. Let's move on. So a games category, self-explanatory. I'm not going to click on any games, but you saw me install all those Penguin ones. And um, I'm not sure what fixed menus does, to be honest with you. Um, something to do with the menu repairs, but there's a help. So um, I'm going to say no here, and then you can get information online for FASA Pop. Poppy Linux, FASA Pop. Now I'm going to open up my web browser, Firefox, because I have a link to my own YouTube site. And hopefully you have subscribed. Hopefully you have subscribed. So in the future, uh, if you are a subscriber, you can use this little magnifying glass and do keyword searches. All of my videos will be keyword searchable. This is not my first Linux video project. My previous channel had over 400 I believe 456 videos. Anyways, you can click the About section, and basically I, I joined, uh, it, it, it said 9, but that says February 10th. So you can see that was only six days ago. I do have some links for you, though. So if you click DistroWatch, for instance, if you're curious about what these links go to, DistroWatch will show you other Linux distributions. GNOME-Look, if you're looking for mouse pointers or themes, and if you want to read about FOSS, you can click that. Uh, basically, uh, all about the open source software, and there's Linux.com also. So let me click DistroWatch, going through my own YouTube site, and point out this distribution. Poppy is listed at uh, number 20 on the right-hand side of DistroWatch's page. This is a good um, way to actually see these kind of operating systems. In this format, I kind of like this feature with DistroWatch. It gives me a quick thumbnail. It also tells me about the distribution, even where they're from, and what kind of desktops they offer. I am running this one. And you can see that I'm running this from RAM. The website is down below. So if you're interested in downloading that, just follow the directions. And you can see it's a fairly small and there's a perfect screenshot of what you're looking at right now. So Puppy Linux, if you're looking for a small distribution. There's lots of options, including right-clicking on your screen. Whoa, there's more stuff, as one would say. Yeah, it's essentially the same stuff in this menu. I just wanted to point that out. But it's convenient for you. Just right-click. Go through all this stuff. By the way, when I booted this up, just thought I'd let you know, my monitor is 43 inches. When I booted it up, it booted up in 4K. I had to drop the resolution because normally when I make these kind of videos, um, especially the uh, overview and tour videos, I like to just reduce the screen resolution because it's a faster upload for these longer videos. Let me move on. So you can see this is basically the same menu that I clicked on. I'm not going to uh, say there's file for file in here, but you can look through that. 
and get a good idea of what's going on in here. Because I do believe it's almost identical to that menu, if not exactly like that menu. Just giving you an idea of what's on this particular live medium is what they call this kind of distribution. So you can find many Linux distros or distributions that you can download as live medium. When you're on that distro watch and you're looking through different Linux distributions, make sure that you read on that little section that says live medium. One more time on that one. Uh, go with Firefox since I have a link to that already. So again, don't forget to subscribe about distro watch. Let's go find um, so like I'll pick this Linux Mint for instance, it says live medium on it. That means I can test drive it. Another distribution is uh, Poppy Linux, this one here. So it says live medium. I know it's kind of cut off here, but uh, maybe I'll make this larger. It says live medium. That means I could test drive it without installing. But in this case, you can actually run this thing from the actual memory stick if you burn this onto a USB stick. And it's a fairly small download. And look at all the different software that this contains. It's actually tremendous for something that runs on a USB stick. And speaking of, I can still take a look at the external UX. Uh, I, I, this is the second USB stick here that I have. So that uh, is a text file of, on that USB stick, for instance. And here's an image. That was something I was playing on my laser engraver with. And there's a zip file here. Let's go take a look at that. Create a subdirectory. Extract. There's the extraction. Right there. It's just a text file. So it's got a lot of toys and tool tools. Lots of bells and whistles. Right clicking on the screen. I can also hit exit. It's also an exit here. Lots of little toys down here. Lots of little toys. Anyways, folks, um, this is Puppy Linux. A very, very lightweight distribution, but it has a lot to offer. If you want to give that a test run, and you have some time, go onto their website, download the actual image of one of these desktops, and give that a run without installing. Thank you for watching, folks, and hopefully you subscribed.